Today we're going to talk about the difference between bobble stitches, puff stitches, and popcorn stitches. So um, first we're going to do puff stitches because those are usually uh, single crochet and they are meant to create kind of a larger smooth uh, area. And the way they do that is with a lot of loops. So one of the most common ones has nine loops on the hook. So we start with one because it's single crochet. We yarn over, two, insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop, three, and then we just continue that until we have nine loops on the hook. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I know that looks like a lot, but when you yarn over and pull through all nine loops, and sometimes you have to weasel it a little bit, then you get this great puff, and uh, it adds a lot of great texture. Um, usually they're followed by uh, either a chain or another stitch of some kind so that they um, can lay in there straight. So let's do one more. We're going to go for nine loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get it all lined up and then yarn over and pull through all nine loops. So that's a puff stitch. Um, next is a bobble, which is related to the puff stitch but usually uses taller stitches like a double crochet. So uh, we're trying to create some texture with the stitch, but we're going to use um, a decrease in the same place to create that texture. So we're going to start with a double crochet, but when we get to that last loop, we're going to stop and we're going to start another double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to stop. See how you can see my two stitches there? Uh, separate for the moment. <clears throat> We're going to keep going. Oh, so now I have a three stitch bobble. I'm going to go for a five stitch. Why not, right? So we'll keep going. And in, in, no matter what it is, double, triple, crochet, whatever, you always just leave that last loop on there. And you can see that I have five. Uh, stitches and five loops plus my original loop. You yarn over and pull through all those loops. So now <clears throat> that is going to be one stitch because they're all they're all connected at the top so it's only one stitch in my stitch count. Right? Can you see that? But look at that great texture. But it's similar, it's, it's similar to the puff, but different in that see that shape, you see the texture of the taller stitches here, and this is smooth. Generally speaking, that's what people are talking about. So let's do one more bubble, bubble, bobble. We're going to do double crochet. I'm going to do five. One, two, three, four. Five. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook, and there you go. It's great for adding texture and other design elements. Every pattern that you use is going to have its own preferences as to how many loops or how many stitches you use, and so you just follow that. Next is going to be the popcorn, which a lot of people confuse with the bobble because it's similar, but it has a little bit different look. And that's actually where you do complete stitches in the same space. So I'm going to stick with those same five double crochet. Three, four, five, and then you extend that loop a little bit because you're going to go back one, two, three, four, five to that first stitch. Insert your hook. I'm sorry, you couldn't see that. We count back five stitches, insert your hook, grab that loop, and pull it through. I hope you can see that. 
So that's popcorn. That's different than the bobble, which is like a decrease where you do half the stitch and then connect. This is a popcorn. And so it still counts as one stitch in our row, but it has, you can even open it up and see that it has this taller texture. That lets it be taller than a, bo than a bobble. All right, so let's do one more just to just to show you. We're going to do five DCs in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five. I'm glad we can all count to five together. <laughs> Lengthen that loop just a little bit. Count back five. One, two, three, four, five. So you're in that first DC, insert your hook, grab that loop, and pull it through. So you're creating a little circle of those stitches, and as you go along, it creates a lot of texture. But I will say, uh, it's easy when you're using bobbles and puffs to know where the, your top stitch is. But generally speaking with popcorns it's a little bit trickier you want to ignore when you're doing your next row you ignore this circle part and you're just going to go along the top of the row so this is actually the popcorn stitch right here and this is the chain one a lot of times they'll have a chain one and they'll tell you in the pattern which one they want you to work through but uh, quite often it's the chain one because that's the one that actually sits at the top of the stitch, the actual closing loop of the stitch leans a little bit to the right because we're pulling everything over. And so I hope that helps with the difference between puffs, bobbles, and popcorns. And let me know if you have any questions. Happy crafting!